Hello everyone, FunshineX here. This is a follow-up video to the great EMC uh, race between the Mushroom and the Cow. I've had a lot of followers uh, watch that and, and comment on it, and they really like it. Um, but there's a little bit, a little bit of controversy on one of the things I did, so I'm going to try and tackle that here with this video and show why I believe I did it the right way, and and uh, hopefully we can put that to rest. Um, if you've never seen this um, setup before, this is something Damn Sky and I created a couple months back when playing Feed the Beast. Uh, we decided that we didn't want to do a sheep farm because it wasn't given enough CMC, and we said, why not put a cow in there and uh, milk them? So uh, this has been redone by a lot of other guys, and they've done great tutorials on it. And uh, this is the setup that I did. I use, um, I've i simplified it a little bit, uh, making the paths a lot shorter. Uh, if you've never seen the, the milk farm here, we've got a cow here, a deployer set to milk them, filter to pull out the milk buckets. They will come in the condenser and switch back to empty buckets. Those will be pulled out by this filter and back into the deployer. Go around in a circle. This cow will just be milked over and over and over again. Okay, so both of those setups are exactly identical. Um, how this will generate EMC is that once this uh, these condensers are full, they have no more room for buckets, uh, this restrictor tube here will then be a, a valid um, pipe to go through. Um, this restrictor tube, if you don't know, makes the uh, the inventory that's connected to seem to the red to, uh, the, the tube network like it's super far away and red tubes always go to the closest path so if this is no longer a path because it's full then this will be a valid path buckets will go up here and generate me diamonds okay the one difference between the two setups is that this condenser is full of white wool corner covers it can be anything here that has, does not have an EMC value uh, these will not be um, converted uh, TMC. They're just here as placeholders. So I only have two here. One for empty bucket, one for a milk bucket. And you'll see they just um, flip flop back and forth as milk comes in. This one over here is what you guys wanted me to do is leave the condenser completely open uh, stating that it'll be able to fill up with more buckets and then we'll be able to have more milk here uh, to more buckets to go around the system. And I know I kind of got around that by making these tubes so much shorter. It's going to take a lot less time to get saturated. Uh, but you'll still notice that uh, this one should outperform it because it only needs um, two buckets in the chest plus, I think, six or seven in the network to get saturated. This one will need the exact same in the network, six or seven, but it also needs 40-some-odd um, buckets to saturate the chest before it will start generating diamonds. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to write it in the comments. Uh, I figured this was easier to show than to try and type. So let's go and type it on. I've got a really slow timer just so we can watch. And what you see is these deployers will go, and the cows will be milked. And you'll see the uh, the milk coming into the condensers. There they go. And for the first bit here, it's going to be exactly identical, just one milk bucket going through the system. No difference between the two. And you'll notice, see, the, the, all the extra milk is poured into EMC, the exact same amount. And once we get a few more going, we can probably speed up this timer a little bit. Let's go down to a second here. As soon as this level, uh, this gets up, we're going to get an extra bucket in the system. Okay, now we got two buckets going around on both sides. See the milk will start coming out much faster. Look at that. Okay. Both still completely identical. Nothing's changed until the point where we just hit there, where now we've got three buckets in the system on both sides. Nothing has come up here yet. They're both still trying to saturate the tubes. And the key here is to note that both the filter pulling out of the chest and the filter pulling out of the deployer are the same timer. So anytime one bucket comes in, one bucket goes out. So there's never a chance where if this had 20 buckets, I could never use them. They would just sit here. As you'll notice, this one, it's got a milk bucket and an empty bucket at all times once it gets saturated. Right? Now they're starting to go up here. This has already generated 2,500 EMC from those extra buckets. Well, where's this one's 2,500 EMC? They're here. They're just sitting as empty buckets. These four extra buckets, they will always be there forever. Now we got five. It's generating the same EMC, 
but these buckets are worthless. It doesn't matter if I have all this empty space or all these white corners. It's do you want diamonds or do you want empty buckets? I wanted diamonds. That was what I was trying to measure. The EMC, technically it's the same, right? Because they're just it's just the form that they're in. This is in half a diamond. This is in seven buckets, eight buckets. So as I'm trying to show you guys, the speed up time for them to get saturated is identical. I think that was the biggest controversy is they figured that this system would speed up faster because it could generate more buckets. You don't need more buckets because as soon as one comes in, it takes the next one out. And these buckets are useless. They're never used in the system. Right? Because as soon as we pull one out of the deployer and we pull one out of the, the filter at the same time, it's just rotating. Okay? So I hope that made sense. Um, in effect, they're equal. It's just where where the MC goes. Um, if you were making this into uh, a chain system where you maybe had like 10 cows and you wanted to start with one bucket, that would be a valid point to put you know, allow this to be full because then it could use buckets for this cow and this cow and this cow and this cow. And you would just need one condenser oh, with multiple filters there. Um, kind of like I have on that farm over there. Um, but with this setup where I was just testing pure EMC value between the mushroom and the milk farm, I, was, I just wanted one condenser just to see them going around. And this was the fastest way to get diamonds up here to compare it to the diamond output of the mushroom. Um, what if buckets stacked? In the next patch, buckets stacked to 16, would that have any effect? That would actually make this, this farm worse because, um, especially this one, would now need 16 times uh, 6 times 12. So I don't know. It's It would be a huge number of buckets you'd have to flow in the system before you even got one diamond. Right? This one hasn't generated any diamonds yet. Okay, inventory is completely clear this time. Uh, both everything's been reset to zero. Both sides. Run it at its faster speed. And uh, we'll see if we get that result. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick clip. If you guys don't trust that I'm running this normally, go ahead and build this same yourself. It should take about five minutes to build this setup. It's really easy. Okay, so we know we've reached saturation point because we're starting to get EMC here and extra buckets here. Um, so if I do this right, this one has just over one bucket there. Go ahead and take these out. Put them in here. 69.12, Okay. So this one is, is winning a little bit. I, I'm not sure why the, the difference is there. I'm, this is not what I'm trying to show, because they should be an equal amount of EMC. Um, whether that we have this cover strip in here. And, and all those cover strips serve, the purpose they serve is to say, extra EMC, go up this path, rather than fill up, and, you know, this. So, um, Keep commenting. I like your guys' comments. I like to they try and explain. Obviously, I didn't explain why I put these in here very well, so hopefully this video showed that a lot better. Um, and hopefully we'll try and keep making EMC farms uh, that do more. I think I've got an idea for one that beats this. Uh, currently, I'm the macerator of um, blaze rods down into blaze powder is the top EMC uh, per hour that you can do. Um, I think I have one more, but it's going to be a surprise. So catch you guys later. It's been Funshine X. See ya.